Welcome to What's New. Uh, tonight we're going to have a real treat because we got a bunch of uh, very talented children, not children, youth, youth here. Yeah. Not, young adults yes, almost. Yes, young adults. <laughs> and we also have some very expensive items to show you. So ours, very you show who we got tonight. Okay, which one are you going to go first? You and me. Okay, first off, we're going to have, uh, from the Foundation for, for Restoration, we're going to have Mickey Ketting. Everybody probably knows her. She's been on several times. Excuse her, she has a phone oh, call. That's what, happens, that's what happens when you're important like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's important or just people have my number. <laughs> Okay, so she's got some items here that she wants to talk about, and uh, Mickey, well, you can turn it over to you. And okay, you can I brought give us I brought a little example of Mrs. Valley silver, and he thinks that I have. I think you would, need to take. Would your one phone. of you come and take this call and just tell him I'm busy? <laughs> My secretary here. Oh, I'm so sorry, but. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway, anything happens anyway. on what's new. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's, what's new? We have a what's again. new telephone. Uh, what's, yes. <laughs> we have a telephone call on what's um, new. <laughs> anyway, Miss, Mrs. Valley had had collected silver, and she had her her family silver, and she had stuff that she herself had just traveled and collected, and it's been in the bank vault for 30, 35 years, oh and uh, so no one has seen this, and. So we decided to get it out and to show it off. So we will have it out on Sunday, this coming Sunday, the 27th, and we will have, it's $10, and you get dinner, and Bob Mueller is going to speak on silver and silversmiths, particularly in St. Genevieve, and then we will have all of this silver on display. And if you're looking at this and thinking, well, that's a little bit of silver, this is really a tiny drop in the bucket of pieces that she has and very unusual Victorian pieces so um, they're all gorgeous yeah Somebody. this is this is very simple and very plain but it is Victorian and it's for getting the bone marrow out of bones when you're eating your your meal and you could use this to scoop that bone marrow out we don't use those. I doubt if anybody even knows what a bone marrow is. Well, it's in soup bone, bone kind of. On soup oh. bone, so well, good. They know yeah. what it is? Yeah, because yeah. they're all looking grossed out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, audience, does anybody know what this is? This time of the year, you would all need one of these to serve your tomatoes fresh from the garden. And this is, is specifically a tomato server. That's all it did. And yes. just think, isn't that this weird? isn't plastic like most of us use now, mm -hmm. and it isn't paper which we throw away. Right, right. This Back is, then, there, the earth wasn't contaminated like it is right. now because we reused and reused, reused and and and, right. and, and washed dishes. And washed believe the it or dishes, not, and yeah. instead of having paper plates and throwing them away or plastic forks. And polish and, silverware every week. <laughs> yeah, that was part of the life. You don't if you use if you your use silver, it, you, you don't have to polish it right. every week. It's it's but we had some pieces we didn't use and you know, polish them when you oh, got yeah. oh, <laughs> if you don't use them you have you to polish them. Yes, yeah. it does it does need to be polished. That's what you would do right before Christmas. Right. <laughs> yeah. I know I knew yeah. that. Right before Christmas. Right. Well we we know or we're pretty sure that this is from eighteen fifteen. And because it has maker's marks, uh, I don't know if the camera will ever see this. Oh, but good there, no, Yeah, but there's there's a series of of uh, four or five marks that are on there that tell who made it, that tell what what where it came from, what country yeah. of origin it is, that tell it what assayer office inside that country of origin had had uh, passed on this. And then there is a, le a letter that gives you the date. And you can look it up online because that's how I found out all of this yes. is mm -hmm. to go online. And I knew that there were letters, but I didn't know what they, you what know, which they, ones yeah. were which. Now the and assayer's mark, is that, they went by weight? 
I Is believe, that yes. how they figured yes. it out? And that's okay. the one that's not on here, that there should be a weight in the, on this. If it is uh, 750 per thousand, then it's consi considered uh, nine point. Uh, sterling, I think, at 750. But then <coughs> there's those higher grades of sterling. Right. And this one is probably sold. It does not have they that. probably didn't do it back then. Probably didn't no. do it. And and some of these newer pieces, because this is definitely Victorian, I can't read it, even with the magnifying glass. So uh, I, I had my son look at it and see if, and he wrote down some of the, the numbers, and then I'm going to have to look up to find out. But this would be to serve your jelly rolls. Oh, okay. I was going to say cakes or uh, yeah, yeah, but jelly rolls <coughs> and bonbons particularly. Oh, you know, and uh, there we have a cake server also that would serve you know like a wedge of cake. So I mean there was a specific utensil for everything that you were eating, and they never ever touched food. It was all done with with Utensil. these utensils. Oh my word. You know? This is for asparagus or maybe fish. But other than that, that's all that this would have been used on. This is for scooping out berries. <coughs> oh, okay. So again, this time of the year when the berries are coming in, it's a good thing to have is a Is that slotted kind of? Or it's not, not, but some oh, of them okay. are. They have, and, but on, they have the slottings up here around the rim rather than in the bottom of the bowl. Oh, so just the top juice drains off. Drains then. off, but mm -hmm. you still got juice to be served to you. And uh, so, and then this is a, a three-handled tea cup is what it's called, but it, it, it would have been, I mean, a lot of times tea cups were made out of ceramics, but this one happens to be in silver. And it's a form of, of like like a fall dinner and drinking thing and you would pass this from hand to hand and everybody would take a drink out of out of the cup as you were out there riding to the hounds or something of that oh nature. My word. Oh know. my gosh. So uh, So they took that on their ride with them. Yeah, oh yes, you know, you packed your picnic baskets with all of the correct serving pieces. And everybody drank out of the same cup? Yeah. <laughs> they did. Well, they, they still do that with the whiskey. Mm hmm. And wine. Haven't you ever drank some wine after no, somebody? No, I don't drink. And, and, and schnapps. They did it. This goes back to the Middle Ages that they drank out of the same cups. Are the clinking of cups together was so that you could spill some of your wine into your neighbor's and he could spill into yours so nobody would be poisoning anybody else. It oh, was well a they safe trusted card. people so good back then. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's real well, that's, that goes back to the Middle Ages. Oh, that, okay. That's a long way yeah, away. They wanted to be the Lord of the Manor. The Lord yeah. of the Manor. So, so this was the three-handled cup, so it could just be passed from hand to hand to hand. Um, then we have a ladle for a punch punch bowl. It's very nice. This is was made from. The, from Jacquard and Company in St. Louis, and they began doing silver in the 1860s until 1933, and then they went to just jewelry, and and so this is the is the E Jacquard, meaning it was made earlier than than the jewelry company came oh, okay. into vogue. So, and it's very elaborate, very the, it is the front and the back. I can pass these around if you all would like to look at the designs on this. This has got that back here. Yeah. Yeah, oh, finding yeah. finding those maker marks. I'll hold it for you. It's something of an adventure anyway, you know. They're, oh, they're look at it's got the initials on it too. Yeah. This oh, one, the maker's gosh. mark, is on the side. Mm. Oh, look at this. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's what's a booger to get that clean when you yeah, all these well, things. Well, you don't want to get it all clean. You want to no, show that it has some age and design to it. Yeah, it's it's that's really that's preferable that. to leave a little bit of that. Oh, everybody passing them yeah. and going to take them home? No. <laughs> like I'm that. responsible, yeah. so they have to come yeah, home. Pretty. This what is a, the 1850. That's beautiful design. And how they, how they could cut it. And they're very elaborate. Look at that. Yeah. 
They even have it on the back. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, I see that. Look at this one. That is fascinating. Look at that. I think in, in the serving part. You know what that puts you in mind of? Isn't uh, is it, is it Zeus? Oh, his it's trident. Yeah. 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 Well, that's Here's that. the water oh, pose a mug. Yeah, this one here we saw. And if anybody thinks that I'm authority on this, this is all stuff I've learned in the last week or two about silver. And, uh, Hello, welcome to What's New. I'm sorry, who is this? Oh, this is What's New. Oh, I thought the candidates were supposed to be on 98 tonight. Actually, they are at the Vets Hall, so I don't really know if we're being taped or if they're going to be on later, I don't really know. I don't know what to tell you. Well, the paper said 6.30, and that just sort of burns me up and because I was wanting to see that. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's at the vet's hall. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. It's at the vet's hall. Is that where it's at? Mm -hmm. At the VFW hall. Well, yeah. it said it was going to be televised. And, okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Anyway, this is ivory from an elephant and sil with a silver handle. It was very difficult to try and find what this was because ivory is banned. You can't, I mean, if you buy ivory, some new item that is made out of ivory, you're buying illegal goods and... Mm -hmm. You can't import it or anything, but this is very old, very old ivory, and so this elephant has been long dead. And, <laughs> and uh, does that slide off? It doesn't. It doesn't. But it just—it's such a nice feel to to that tusk. It's a nice, smooth feel. Has a repose uh, handle to it, and we're not sure. So if anybody knows what this was used for, it'd be great to call in. Looks like we can we see on a cake. cake. Yeah, he's got something no, shaped just like that. Well, that's, that's what it looks saying. like, but you wouldn't want to get the ivory wet. That, does feel that would be very bad to do that. To well, there's a bird on there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very, very, yeah isn't that yeah. neat? It, 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 does anybody out there know what that is? Yeah, it's just what they thought. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even, he's not yeah, even got a chew on. Because to clean ivory, I mean, if you have an old piano, you have ivory. Right. You, you have to do it with a very damp cloth and not get too much moisture on it. So I have something ivory at home, but I don't, yeah, I I don't have, remember what it is. I think it might be a letter opener. I have a family uh, set, dresser set that's all ivory. Oh, do you? And uh, that's... Did they not make teeth out of ivory? Hmm. I'm I don't sure. know. I'm, I'm thinking know. they did. They made false teeth out of that. Well, George Washington had wooden ones, and maybe yeah. they. Oh, really? I, I didn't know the termites that. got after him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the termites <laughs> ate his teeth. Ate his teeth. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I think he also used teeth. You're just cool about the news. You just. Yeah. Oh, suggestions. <laughs> So, so if anybody knows what that is, call in yeah. and let us know. Well, this this has been locked away for 30 years, and uh, 10 years ago, three of us went and inventoried it just to be able to say we had seen it. And uh, once we had done that, we knew that we really needed to ha give that opportunity to people to see the, people, this yeah. set. Yeah, and and uh, I mean, as they're as they're getting clean, they're just stunning pieces and it's really oh. something to see and uh, so I'm hoping that everybody who's now, interested. How long does it take you to clean? I'm not doing that. I have a crowd of people <laughs> doing, doing that, that that are working on it while I'm here. So uh, so they're, they're, uh, they're doing all of the cleaning and the polishing but but actually it goes pretty fast. We've got kind of an assembly line process going through because you have to wet it and then right. you, and then you have to polish it and then you have to rinse it and then it has to be dried and buffed and uh, but and do you wrap it in something to keep it the the flatware we've got some uh, silver cloth yeah. that we that we, it, it came in or it was already stored in mm -hmm. and we'll reuse that and uh, my intention is to get some more silver cloth 
to to take these larger pieces, and each one would have its own sleeve to be to be kept so that it it doesn't tarnish as quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, they tarnish. I mean, they just tarnish. Silver tarnish. Oh, I think the air when it hits it, it yeah. does it. Yeah. yeah. If you keep so, them airtight, it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to pick up some silver cloth and and. Uh, you got to be a seamstress then. Uh huh. I think so. <laughs> I think so. And I have some uh, of the pieces of Mrs. Valley dresser set. This is her nail buffer that is in pieces here, but. It's silver, a little silver holder for it, and so that you could buff your nails. Ladies mm -hmm. didn't polish their nails at that time. Now, that is skin, isn't it? The this is a some kind of a, a, a deer skin, skin or chamois, yeah, like or something. A chamois. Yeah, it's very. I felt one of those already, but it was old. But I don't remember where. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I have one in the dresser set that that I've inherited from my my uh, family, and here we have a I shoe. Shoe mm -hmm. horn that everybody has one. Yeah. It's plastic, so. but we have it Still in, in silver. And this yeah. is yeah. Tiffany and Company. Thank you, sure. So that's really. But elaborate. we will have this on display six o'clock Sunday evening uh, at the KC Hall. For ten dollars, oh, you could could come have dinner, well, stay really for a very very oh, short meeting, and then Bob Mueller they will really be speaking about silversmiths and sure in silversmithing in the colonial <sighs> era. So uh, it should be a full evening, and this will be on display. All of the pieces and, and Bob is so informative. He, he is really is a good researcher. Yes, he is. So very I'm good historian. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent, excellent oh. historian. So, I have a plate that you put in a washing soda. Yes. And you just lay it in there and the tarnish dissolves. I, I have that similar thing and I lion have done that. Lion something it's called? Lion something? Yeah. I th I, well, I did it with just an aluminum pan and all that is is an, is an aluminum plate. And, and you pour the boiling water over it and with the Hints from Heloise. I have the, oh, okay. the recipe of what you put in there. And I did that with a silver plate set that I had, mm -hmm. uh, an old old one, five or six years ago, and that is still bright and does not need any polishing. Right, I keep it in, it, you know, where it's uh, what's it airtight. Yeah. It, you, you get an aluminum, either an aluminum pan or something aluminum, because that's it's some chemical reaction. And I, sh and I don't remember offhand if it is... Um, it's washing soda, yeah. but I don't remember if there was something else There's with something it else. Hmm. Maybe lemon juice? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. remember. I'd have to look yeah. that up. I'll have to look that up. But I was amazed but I ordered that. I was amazed I didn't mind that. trying that on my silver plate. That, right. You know, but I, we're not, not doing on that. that. Right. No, we're not <laughs> doing that with this. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I think I wouldn't be here tonight. They would have drummed me out of town if I had suggested that. Yeah. So Okay, so tell us again where it's going to be on display. It will be at the KC Hall on Sunday, June the 27th, 6 p.m. It's $10 for dinner, a short meeting, Bob Mueller's uh, talk on silversmiths and silvering, and all of the silver will be on display. And what yeah. are they serving for dinner? I don't know. Oh, okay. Do you That's make reservations thing. or just show up? You can, up? yes. Please, please call uh, the foundation office tomorrow, and that's 883-9622. Or you can call it at my house, which is probably easier, and that is 883-5850. And we will make reservations for you. We're going to have be having a little membership drive also, so... If if you're not a member of the foundation. Now, what, are, what is the dues? It's $25 for per person or $50 for a couple. And uh, I think it's 60 or 65 for a corporate membership or a company. So we would love to have anybody that's interested in history, interested in, in the history of St. Genevieve, or once loves to polish silver, and the next time we do it, we will have a, have a silver polishing party. <laughs> I think it will be a long time from now that after we get this finished, they, this is going to be go back to storage and mm -hmm. 
And, but it's a shame that no one gets to see this. It is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is. That's the way it is with a lot of our stuff. Right. Because you want to preserve it, so... You don't use it. Yeah. And the no. best thing to do is to use it. Mm -hmm. It's so much better to have it and use it than have it and put it in a cardboard box and stick it in the back of a closet somewhere. So That's so. why I started using my china. Right. We use it every night. Good, good idea. Every yeah. night? Most every night. Mm -hmm. I do almost every <laughs> okay. night. Okay. <Yes. laughs> almost, not every, but almost every. <laughs> well, that's the way a lot like of our stuff it. is. Like Darley's, people don't use those anymore. And they're put away. They're just going to... Well, come to my house. I have mine on the back of my chairs and on the back of my couch. I do Darley's all over the place. <laughs> well, I do, too. I have Darley's. Yeah. Yeah. Quilts that put huh? away quilts. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, yeah, their so grandma you gave you a quilt, you don't want to use it, so you're going to put it away. And that's certainly not, I don't think any grandma wants that. They, they yeah, make they it want you to, to be use used, it. you know. And then you use yeah. it and it gets raggy. And then, and then you feel really bad. Yeah, yeah but exactly. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Still. No, and then you put it in the back of your car. So when you're up in the park or someplace, you can get it out. <laughs> yeah, use it again. So. And then say, I once upon a time had a quilt that Grandma made. Yeah. <laughs> but we used it till it was a rag. Uh, so. And I so. made this little animal out. <laughs> yeah, well, see, that's what you can do. That that yeah. quilt can go on and on yeah. and on. on. Right. From being on the bed to being the picnic blanket to being that's the That's what my sister-in-law did with my mother-in-law's uh, Old chenille bedspreads. Oh, that she yeah. Used them, and she made elephants and bears. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, that used idea. to be a big, uh, big thing. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they're beautiful. Oh, yes. So. And then out of pillowcases, they made the dolls for the brides or yeah. for right. the showers. Right. Yeah, I made those pillowcase dolls. I got two of them. All kind of things. I use the same embroidered too. pillowcases on my pillows. I just, you know. My great grandmother made pillowcases, and she was blind, but she could crochet. Oh my goodness! And she would sit in the same pattern, but she she we made crochet us around the edges, crochet on. around the edges, and and made pillowcases. My mom cases always and, did that. Too. And hankies. We had, oh yeah. Oh every yeah. Beautiful we had the hankies, hankies with yeah. the crochet about it. So, so I bought the hankies, and I'm I'm planning on tatting for my granddaughters, and they're not here in St. Genevieve, so they're not hearing this, but. Uh, Come Christmas, they'll have some tatted handkerchiefs. Well, that'll be neat. So yeah. now you're going to have the kids I think all with handkerchiefs and the guys with socks? Oh, I hope not. But they will <laughs> go. If, if they call me and say, Mrs. Otto said, said you um, should make us some socks, uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be too busy learning her lines for the play. Yes, I am. So oh, that's I am. right. Okay. Right. Now, who are you going to play in the play? She her. is, her last name begins with a P. She's a it widow. Does. Mrs. Piner? Something like Something that. Something like that, yeah. And we're, we've taken it and we're, we're typing it, typing a good copy so everybody can read it. Yeah. And we've had to make a few adjustments, but it's old and so it's okay. It's not illegal. And uh, so we've got a full cast and. Well, isn't that great? Go. Yep. I'm looking forward to I'm, it. We're very I, excited. Yeah. yeah. We have. We have an interesting cast because and we have a couple of seniors. So we have school. everybody from, yes. uh, like, there are nine uh, in school and out of school. Mm -hmm. both. There are nine characters, and so we have Mr. Mercer from the high school and Miss Jokers, who just retired, and we have Miss Ketting, and we have Mr. Hassler, Paul Hassler, um, and those are the four adults, and then we have Morgan Papin, our little Jenna's sister, and my daughter Camille and Bethany Beckett, and Joshua Doggett, um, and Taylor Jokers. We, we think he's going to do it, but we might be searching for, you know, a young man. So I've got a, a few ideas for that, too. So, but we've, okay. we've, got, we've got a full cast. Great. So, That's wonderful. Yeah. So she can't, she doesn't have time to do socks. No. <laughs> okay. So she's so not going to no be knitting socks. socks. No socks. No, no socks. socks. They got you out of it. Right. Well, thank you very <laughs> much, Mickey. Thank you very thank much. You. And I'll, I'll let you take over, Mrs. Right. Otto. And, and I'll, I'll get with you and get okay. you the new. Please do. Please do. Yeah, thank excited. you. So now we're going to have Miss Otto, who's the 
Drama Club and St. Jen. And we have a house full of young adults. My goodness. And come, this is about half of them. You can come this on up and just find you yourself a little seat. In and bring yeah. extra chairs up at the bottom. Why don't you do that? Bring yeah. a few extra I'll chairs up. Okay. Would you like your <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to my secretary here. As soon as we get all packed up here yes. and get all the sober stashed. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mickey. You're welcome. Thank you. Hope we see some of you on Sunday. Uh, I'm hoping I can get there. Tell Dave we're going out for dinner now. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, just I'll surprise you. You'll love it. Yeah, you will. I will. Bye-bye. I hope I see you okay, later. Okay, we'll see you later. Thanks, <laughs> Mickey. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Don't forget, Sunday evening at the KC Hall, 6 o'clock. Foundation for Restoration dinner and meeting ten dollars. Okay, let's hear what we got all the children. Okay, the well, young have, adults here for. Us. We have about half of our group here tonight. Um, Where's the boys? We've got, well, we the girls and I discussed it and we locked them up in the pack. We didn't allow them to come tonight. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a very nice girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's been three weeks, hasn't it, girls? Three weeks. Three weeks with the guys in the Yeah. No. Oh, no wonder. So it's, <laughs> it's uh, no wonder. this is our summer drama group, and we have about, I don't know, on any given day, 20 to 30. Oh, my. Um, we have several high school helpers. We have several helpers who are college, so they're out of school. And then we have a, we have a nice-sized crew this year. We have four every day at least, and then others in and out building the set, and they helped Mr. Otto build the set. We're doing two plays because the first play I picked I loved. It was funny, it was hysterical, but it was really geared towards the guys. There's really good female parts as well, but just not as many. So um, I was looking for a play that would um, showcase the girls' talents as well. So we picked out another one. So we're, we're doing two. So first on Friday night at 7 o'clock at the pack, we're going to do the Academy School for Gifted, Malevolently Impressive, Nefariously Awesome Girls. That's the title, and it's by J. Patrick Moss, and, and I have you it. got a lot of big, longer titles. Yeah, well, the other one's just as long. I don't know. This is the weirdest, the weirdest summer. And you're only going to do this on Friday evening. We're only doing this on Friday evening. Yeah, we, we you know, it's three long weeks, and they're middle school, so they don't drive, and, you know, parents have to get them in and get them out. And what I've found, you know, because I work with Miss, Miss Google with the high school as well, and she does two nights a lot, and when she does, it seems that it splits up her audience size. And a lot of people say, oh, I meant to come. I was going to come Thursday, and then I couldn't, so I thought, oh, I'll go Friday, but then Friday came and they didn't go. So we, we do one night, and... Uh, the only thing is it's fourth Friday. Yes, yes, and if we, it, yeah. you know, and the problem is we have to work around all the different camps of oh, the exactly. school and, and all of that. And if I do more than one night, you know, we have to pay royalties for everything. And these kiddos pretty much, um, we'll do a fundraiser this fall, and the money um, for, the, for the sets and costumes and things is what we make. It, we don't, we don't, you know, we don't have a budget really for that at school. So um, we try not to spend all of our money on royalties. Right. So, you know, but you've got to be really careful when you present, you've got to pay the royalties. So the, the first play um, has, are all of you girls in it? Mm -hmm. All of the girls? Yeah. But there, some of them are dressed in their Western attire, but they're in the, the other play. And basically this other play, just um, short, is that the government can't fund the two different schools. One school is for the really good super, superhero girls, and one is for the more evil girls. The government can't afford both schools, so they put them together. And of course when they blend them together, fights ensue. Um, they've learned, they have a great fight scene in this play, they have learned how to <laughs> get up on stage and fight, it looks great. Um, and then they learn that, you know, maybe to get things accomplished, they have to work together. So it's really cute, it's coming along, and by Friday it'll be exactly as I want it, and then we'll all be happy, right? Because <laughs> when Ms. Otto's happy, everybody's happy. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're working on that, and I'll let them all talk to you about that. And then the other one, the second play will be, um, it's a Western. It's the day Black Bart Balderdash and Dangerous Dan McGrew went to dueling at Miss Kitty's Golden Nugget Saloon. And so 
we have a huge set for this one. The, the other one, the girls is more, there's there's Could props and you sets. just set a five minute tavern? Yeah, well. <laughs> No, John O'Shea that might want to do this. Hmm? When is that? That one? one's Friday night as well. They're, oh, they're both, both Friday, Friday night. night. It's, oh. Yeah, two for the price of one. And so um, this one um, has a huge set. It has a saloon, swinging doors, big mirror. Um, it's really neat. It looks great. It's fun. The kids have a good time. Miss Kitty owns the saloon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have two jokers. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, a gun on her garter. I looked long and hard for that. Oh, like, <laughs> well, our bartender really wanted it, and he was mad because he didn't get it. I told him he wasn't getting it because we'd never got his attention. So he didn't get it. He got the pleasure. We just, we just ignore him, don't we? But this one, um, the two main characters are very quirky cowboys, and one can't count, and neither one of them could shoot, obviously. And they go to dueling because one's cheating the other one, and... And uh, then they, pe people from the community keep stopping them because they don't have the right permits. They don't have a permit to duel, they don't, have a, they don't have their wills, they don't have a permit to shoot each other. It's just, you know, one thing after another. And so it's, it's very cute. Um, we've enjoyed it as well. So um, I'll let them tell you what they're doing and you can say your name and tell what you're doing with us. <laughs> okay, my name is Debbie Robinson and I am a student helper slash student director and I'm helping all these guys um, learn how to do some of the things that they do. Um, uh, I've helped them with their lines. My brother, my little brother and my little sister are involved with this play. Um, my brother who isn't here, he plays Dangerous Dan McGrew in the Western and he's, he's a he's a funny mess. guy. Yes, he's a man. <laughs> And he's he got just, a great voice. He has that natural southern accent, so he blends in so well. He does so well with both plays because yeah. he plays a professor in the superhero play. Doctor Doctor Stalking. Doctor Stalking. Yeah. He is such a hit. such a hit. <laughs> yeah. He's so great. It'll be good. It'll be good. But she helped. She's one of our high school students, and she was one of my students in middle school and then she went on to high school and didn't ab abandon me so <laughs> yes all right girl i'm jordan catlett and i play in the the schools that combined and i am out of one of the twins there's a good and a bad and i am the good one yang and yen's down there in the black and <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun and i'm glad to have summer drama camp because i don't know what else i'd be doing probably sitting at home. The sets are really fun. It's hard to get it moving, but we're working on it. And in the Western, we have a bunch of extras, and I think it all works out well. Um, my name is Jenna Papin, and I'm in both plays. Uh, in the school play, I'm like the leader of the good girls, and her name is Flo. And she doesn't like that girl over there. <laughs> <laughs> that girl's very mean to me. <laughs> tell them what your tell them what your your powers were. You forgot some of your power. Well, mine's healing. Hers is harm. Right. Why? She's healing and harm. They're yin and yang. Oh, okay. And so she's the healing one, and she's harmful. Okay. So tell them what your power um, is. Anyway. I stop time, like freeze time. Yep. Okay. And then in the Western play, my girl's name is Bridget. And someone shot her dog, so she runs after them, and she tries to figure out who did it, and threatens people. <laughs> she does. She does. She does. Is that your gun that you're carrying? Yeah, it's my gun. Yeah. And we, you know, we need a disclaimer. It is in a saloon. There are plastic guns. They are battery operated. And no one's drinking anything stronger than sarsaparilla, root beer, or cider. It's it's all middle school appropriate. So that's my disclaimer for the evening. Go. My name is Grace Robinson, and in the school play, I play Yin, who has the power of harm, and I get to slap Yang. <laughs> and it's so much fun. It was so much fun to learn how to slap her on stage. Thanks. <laughs> And in the Western, I am an extra, but I am a surveillance officer. 
because they didn't have surveillance cameras. So I'm an artist. So she sits and draws everything that's going on. Uh -huh. Yes, and it's, it's, we got a little surprise with that that we can't talk about, but anybody who comes to see will get a kick out of her and what she ends up doing. I'm Haley Winston, and in the school play, I am Gidget, and I'm a nerd. <laughs> I like, I guess my power is just being really, really smart, and I make a freeze ray, and then in the second play, the Western one, I am Miss Kitty, and I own the saloon. So. And she's very protective of her mirror, which, <laughs> in the play, came from St. Louis. So I yeah. that was pretty cool. Okay, Haley? Okay, I'm Haley Ford, and I'm working with crew. And if I do say so myself, the set turned out great. <laughs> I love it myself. We made some flats, so it's a big... It's a nice background, and you can't see the backstage, which is good. And we made a giant, we made a bar. It says Miss Kitty Saloon. We've got some burnt signs. We got some saloon doors, which Mr. Otter really had to make perfect. <laughs> he did. He's been a pain about the about yeah. the doors. They we made a perfect. few signs for the for the superhero or super villain play, which turned out nice. Yeah. Turned out really great. I love everything. It's been an awesome time in drama camp, and I'm, I'm going to continue with all of it. Yeah. Haley That's works great. backstage then too, so once they've built the set the night of the play, they're backstage changing things out, bringing things in, and, oh, and helping okay. getting ready for next scenes. So, Abby? Okay, I'm Abby Engelman. Um, I just got here this week, and it's been so amazing seeing how far this the crew has came along on this, and uh, uh, the the thing I've loved painting is the one thing they've ever trust me pick up a paintbrush with, <laughs> and it's this sign, and it turned out pretty amazing. It's You'll awesome. see it when you walk in. Yeah. Miss Otto's like, I'm going to keep this on my wall. I am. It's going to my office. It's awesome. <laughs> Usually Abby acts for us um, in the class or in summer drama, but she was gone this summer for vacation, and so she came in this last week and is helping. And so, you know, it says something when they want to come in and spend time, so I really enjoy that. All right, girl. I'm Marissa Cooley, and um, I'm in the superhero play, and I'm the, the pirate. I don't know what my power is, though, but like, I just talk like a pirate and like hit people a lot. Nobody in the play really knows what her pirate, what her power is. It's it's supposed to be that way. She is a pirate superhero, and nobody's really sure what she does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you have a sword, yeah. though. <laughs> So you can get by with just about anything. Right? Yeah. So That's like, the part I would like to have. Yeah. So I can get like all the evil people who are can't be harmed by cops. <laughs> and in the second play, I'm a, uh, just an extra. So she sits in the saloon, and when the fight starts, they all t take off in different spot, different directions, and then they come back in, and the, so they're in and out, and just makes it look like it's you know busy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Coach Charisma. I'm Maddie Helm. In the Western play, I'm an extra. And in the superhero play, I'm kind of like the gym coach, but I went generic on plastic surgery, and I have a permanent smile. <laughs> <laughs> and, she does. It's hysterical. And my superpower is my super bright smile. And that's how I stop people because they can't look away. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. And she's got quite the personality for it. <laughs> that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're very photogenic too. I got her on the screen yeah. back there. I know oh, it. Is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. All righty. My name is Emma Glassy, and in the school play, I am kind of the head of the evil girls, and I'm very mean to that one right there. She is. She mirrors my feelings lots. <laughs> she smears lots. Hey, she girl. hurts your feelings lots. Oh, that's <laughs> it's true. It sometimes happens in real life, so she's used to it. <laughs> and in the Western play, well, uh, Gabriel decides he's going to kick my cat, and then I use my handy dandy broom here to beat his butt because he's a bad boy. <laughs> 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 
<coughs> yes. That's what I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. she comes in and she's fierce when she hits that stage. Between these two, every boy on stage starts quaking because <laughs> they're very strong yeah. actresses and those are very strong parts and they yeah. handle it. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Batgirl. My name's Addie Fappell and in the superhero play, I played Batgirl. My power is throwing bats at people. <laughs> and in the Western one, I am an extra and I hide under the table. She hides under the table for a big part of the play and watches everything that's going on. <laughs> and I think people in the audience are like, wait, where is she? What's she doing? <laughs> and why is that on your head? It's more bats. We, we just oh, cover her with bats. bats. Oh, okay. And some of her bats have come off, but we, we just keep putting them back on. Oh, okay. She has lots of bats. <laughs> yep. I'm Jane LeClaire, and in the play, with the Western play, I'm an extra, and I dress like a maid. And then, <laughs> she's so cute. It is not a maid. You're just a little country girl. She looks like a maid. Oh, okay. And then, in the superhero play, I play Beth, and she's like a spy. For she does her uncle. She's a spy. Oh. I don't have a power, though. You don't have any problems. You're just I'm like a normal person. She's unique. She's very unique. And you know, we're missing a couple more girls, but we're missing, you know, obviously all the guys. Um, they really aren't locked up. How many up guys are in here? Eight. Eight. Oh my goodness! You have a big bag. And we have eight boys <laughs> who are coming in here tonight. Well, it's ball Your season. Girls are our ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's ball season, and they were not happy with me when oh. I brought this up last week. Oh, because really? they were like, "What?" Because a lot of them are, boy, are guys that have been here before. Um, but we have um, two gunslingers, and then we have Deuce Sluice, who. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. He's shooting two dogs and Kit Kats. Crazy yeah. mustache going on. And then um, his brother Sammy, who has a huge beard, <laughs> and so he gets in the way. He He's the one that's struck it rich and has this huge gold nugget and things like that. And um, we've got the mortician in this place, hysterical. <laughs> he just happens to be the uh, <clears throat> county sheriff's son. But he, uh, he's. Sam, he's hysterical. He he <laughs> is the mortician and he loves his job. And of course, Sam, you know, he smiles all the time anyway. And this part, he's you know, he's very happy because well, it's he gets like to that other smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he so smiles you know, constantly. Hey, you. You. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be looking away. But he smiles constantly, and because he can't wait to fill coffins, and. Oh, He's supposed to end up sad at one point, and he just, it's so cute because he just drops his head because he just, he smiles all the time and can't do it. So, and then we also have the mayor in that one. Oh my goodness, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, the mayor's nuts. And then um, we also have a concerned citizen who um, is played by uh, Mr. Boyd's son. And uh, Isaac is, uh, name is Concerned Citizen, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And he's a narc, he's a tattletale. He is, he runs to do sluice and tells him that, you know, I know who shot your brother and he's running to the girls telling them they know who did this and he's, uh, he times things and he's just a real narc, tattletale. Um, a snitch. A snitch. Um, we have our bartender. Oh, he's a mess too. He um, loves his costume. <laughs> oh, he loves his costume. Much. Just a little too much. <laughs> he does look. He looks really good back there. He's doing his job, so he's he's back there. I'm trying to think who who Doc, wants it. Doc, 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 oh, Doc, 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 in town who comes in to you know see if they're really dead or not, and uh, he's he's quite a character too. Do you too. have Matt Dillon since mm -hmm. you have Miss Kitty? No. no, no. In fact, Deuce sort of plays that part. I think he sort of plays the other. The, He's a bad guy, but he's a good guy because he tips the mortician every time, and Doesn't he's a good tipper. <laughs> and, uh, and he never shoots a lady, so he's a good oh, guy. Oh, that's yeah. nice. We have Fiona. Fiona. Fiona's um, uh, played by Lauren Mercer, and she's like the treasurer of the town, and she's going to make sure everything is done properly. And she's this quiet, calm, sweet voice, you know, in the room. And, She's not in the girls play because in the academy school play her name is Screamo and her superpower is she screams and, and it drops everybody else to the floor. So yeah. There's some interesting, really interesting characters. 
in the in the academy play, um, the mayor that's in the western plays Lunch Larry in the academy. <laughs> he's he's the lunch lady. And instead of Lunch Lois, you know, we needed a dude, so he's Lunch Larry, and uh, he feeds the girls, and it's not good food, is it? No, <laughs> it's, it's not. It's 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 and you know, there's a food fight, <laughs> yes. and so he it's runs it's to it's get it's the it's principal it's and it's tattles. It's we have two. Um, administrators of the school who are, you know, ones for the good girls and ones for the bad girls, and and uh, they don't get along at all. And it's just, <laughs> you know, fun. It is fun. We laugh a lot. We also yell a lot. I go to the back of the room, and they can hear me, and it probably makes their teeth rattle. But you know, by this time, they have to know lines, and it has to be done right. And I, it's two, you know, two good-sized plays. And it's a, you know, yeah, it sounds like it. it's a lot, but too bad they can do it. <laughs> I have no, there's no qual, no, no doubt in my mind that they can't do this and do it very well, both of them. Well, you can tell by looking at them that they're, they're thoroughly enjoying the yeah. parts. They're, yeah. they're, I was just going to say that they look like they enjoy it. Yeah. 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 She makes it fun, but yet still, she makes us work. But <laughs> afterwards, she, she makes sure we get time to still have our fun. You gotta have some fun. She's scary. I can't be. <laughs> Just a little bit. Well, just a little. But do you guys know your lines? Yeah. Yes. So, well, hey, it works. Scary it works. <laughs> <laughs> Not putting something on stage that they don't know. <laughs> Not doing it. <laughs> but they, they've done a really good job. We took pictures yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. This has been a long week. Yeah. Yesterday we took pictures, and the pictures are great. They all look beautiful. They all look great in their costumes. And we did pictures for both. Plays. So when you walk into the lobby, you know, we've got our banner for both plays and then the Western pictures and the Academy pictures. And they just look, they're, it looks really great. Well, if no okay. one's ever been up there to see any of these performances, very you're good. missing out on a wonderful experience because not only is it a great place to go watch <laughs> any kind of show like that, you don't have to get up, move, yeah. or nothing. Yeah. And these kids are talented, and yes. they're right here at home. Right. And for three dollars, is it still three it's, dollars? It's five, five for adults, adults and three for students. Okay. And we do. We would like to address that. One of the reasons we do charge is because, again, we are self-sufficient, pretty much. Um, we, you know, what we bring in is what's going to pay for our next plays. And so, you know, we're we're going to try some fundraising this fall um, for the sixth and seventh graders that are coming up to be seventh and eighth graders. Um, but, you know, we, we do charge, and uh, well, you get two plays this time. To pay for yeah. The yeah. Too, yeah. 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 Oh, it's expensive. Yeah. Yes. I, we probably spent, you know, Mr. Otto, he, he said, what can I spend? He said, I really want a big set. And I said, well, so, you know, we probably spent around $600 strictly on supplies for set, you know, and that doesn't, include all of the costumes and different things and you know some of the things are in the basement we can go down and i can find costumes but some need to be purchased we did not have a saloon girl we did not have a saloon keeper um but some of these we just put together from other things you know um but yeah it, it takes quite a bit but it's friday night seven o'clock we'll do the academy first have about a 15 minute break getting set up and then we'll do the western and they're both about 45 minutes long so it's like a it's like a full one full length play they're both about you know time to get and up and long run. still have time to go to the wall mm -hmm. yeah. so yep. you can have a full night and then you can sleep in on saturday morning <laughs> yes because we break set that night we are not going back saturday morning <laughs> we will strike set afterwards friday night and they can get a set down quicker than anything i've ever seen that's good. Scattered a lot of good workers. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 And they'll all run, get out of costume, and come back to the stage and help strike the set. And that's it. That's Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock at the pack. Yep. Two shows for the price of one. Right, I love that building. <laughs> so do I. And it's a good thing because we're there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, Mike went to school here and he came back and he went up there and he said, I can't believe this is the same school. Yep. And he's been to the football field, and he said that football field is better than what they had at Carbondale where his son went to school. Well, and like today and yesterday, band camp started. 
So we had our 30 kids in and out, and we had, I don't know how many are in band right now, oh marching God, band. 50. Oh, I was Almost. thinking more like 70. Yeah. 50? There's a lot. I think there's around 70. Kids everywhere. And then we've got kids over in the gyms that are doing camps. We've got the, the drum line is over by, in the shade by the, by the, the gym. gym, and they're playing there, and the, the uh, pit is out in the lobby, and they're playing, and these guys are out marching, and there's just kids yeah. everywhere. It's just, it's just a great yeah, campus. Yeah, it's yeah Flag was in the green wonderful. room. It's a wonderful yes. campus. He it just is. couldn't get over it. Yep, it is. And it's great for the kids. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I was talking to Miss Google, and she does the high school plays, and um, she was saying that she and Mr. Haney, the principal at the high school, are really happy and really surprised because they have so many kids who want in the high school drama. And, you know, it's not because of, of myself or Mr. Otto. It's because they, once they get stage time, they want stage yeah. time. Once, they like it. Once and, that you, yeah, they're you do so, yeah. right. That's in your blood. Yeah. It's just normal. Yeah, they they seem to like it, and I think they're you know going to have to re they're going to refrain from sure. maybe keeping freshmen from being in those classes at first because there's so many upperclassmen yeah. that want it now. So oh, so God. that's really good. Oh, we're great. you know we're that's very great. happy about the growth. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, you kids all do a wonderful job. Yes. They really do. I'm very Super. proud of them. I'm I'm always and they know especially the last week the last few days I'm going to growl and grump till it's perfect. But that night it will be. They will, you know, they will do a good job. So, All right, girls? Exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shake your head because she's watching. Everybody, yeah. I'll let that too. Most of them have me for English and one star. Well, thank you very, very much. And uh, you girls have fun Friday. Oh, and break a leg, right? <laughs> yeah, break a leg. Oh, welcome to What's New. Hi, it's Pat. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. I had to let you know I was watching tonight. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I love it when when our young actors, our lesbians, come on. And it's really fun to watch these kids. Uh, I want to say, too, for all the work that uh, Miss Otto puts in on this, I think this is one of the most important parts of their education that oh. they're getting at the school. I agree. Um, I mean, so much is done with technology today, so much is done with the computers, and, and that's fine. But here they get to work with each other. They get to interact with each other, learn how to get along with each other, learn how to work together. And I sadly fear sometimes that's a skill that's getting lost in our world. So I just think this is a wonderful uh, group that this auto has. And uh, I won't name any names, but I know one or two of the young ladies in this group, and they are fine, fine young women. Uh, one of them has come and helped me with some things around my house a few years ago, and she was just lovely and very helpful. She's charming. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to say hello to everybody and tell you that I think this is a wonderful group. I think there's so much to be gained from being part of this. These kids will never be sorry that they participated in this. They're going to look back in years to come and think that this was one of the best parts of high school. Okay, that's okay. it. Thank, thank you, thank you, Miss Parker. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she, her, her aunt acted in the first, her aunt was in the first graduating class of St. Genevieve. So that was 100 years ago. So this year's seniors are the 100th graduating class. So the play that her sister, or her aunt was in, is the play we're gonna do with Cammy and, and Josh and Mr. Mercer and, and all of them. So that, she is very interested in this. And not just because of that, but because she saw what a neat And she gave you the script for it. She, she did, did give us the script for it. And so, cause she had the script and she has the original program. You know how I make a program for each of your plays? She has the original program from that play home ties so we're going to take that program and use it and then and leave the original actors names on it and out behind that put the new actors names because that way we can you oh, know it's, yeah. it's a, a hat tip to the, <coughs> to the original actors right. so oh, it's I think really that's neat yeah we'll do that sometime next june we'll i think we'll be ready next it'll june. be a summer yeah it'll be an early june thing and then we'll go into these guys and then high school oh that'll be nice so 
It'll be wonderful. So yeah, you hopefully guys we can get all have a wonderful time Friday. Thank you. Yes. And hopefully. they're all going to break a leg, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. We don't I'm going to get up there cheering for you. She'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, girlies. Well, thank you all thank very, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Costumes come back tomorrow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. <laughs> now, okay. Out there in <laughs> you girls look so neat. Yes, yes. you do. <laughs> rest because if you think today was long and hard oh tomorrow will be the best. <laughs> you, look you look so elegant don't you Jess. <laughs> you should have seen her, you have seen her. I gave her that hat that bonnet I handed her that bonnet and she just looked at me like okay. <laughs> oh. Look, there it goes oh. <laughs> They are so, they are so, so cute. cute. They're fun. They're really yeah. neat kids. They're, they're just, it's such a good group. And the boys, I wish they could have been here tonight because you would, they're just a crack up. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> so but baseball comes first. Well, and I understand yeah. that, you know. Oh, and I sure. can share them with football, too, because football practice yeah. is going. Oh, really? And so. Some of them are probably I, a yes, boat. Huh? Yes, and I just feel lucky. Oh, yeah. That they're even participating. Right, right. right. In fact, they're supposed to be at, a, at something Friday night. But instead, they're going to be in their play because, you know, they tell their coaches. Isn't that great? Yeah. So, so we share. Yeah. So what and do we got coming up there? Well, let's thank Melissa yes. for bringing the kids. Yes. Anytime, anytime. Anytime. Every time they ask, do we get to go be on the show? <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> for bringing them anytime. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Right. We'll be back in the fall then. Okay. 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 Thank you, Liz. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Bye -bye. Actually, Bye -bye. Yeah. Actually, we don't have anybody scheduled for next week. So anybody out there that would like to be on the show? Were we going to have uh, somebody from Jared Fett? Because that's coming That would up. be nice. Jared Fett would be great. We'll see when All is right. our next show. The 13th of August. So it would be right around the, that time. Will that be it would be afterwards. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll have to try to. We should have them tonight. Yep, we should have. Well, everybody remember the Jared Fett. Yes. That's uh Second Coming full second weekend, full weekend in, in August, August, which is, Marianne's going to look. Uh, the end of August, we're going to have uh, Oaks Home Furnishing, hopefully. It'll be the 9th and 10th of August. It'll be the 9th and 10th of August, the Jura Fett. And we should also have Ellen's land, uh, Flyerscape. She was going to be on tonight, but she's busy canning, and she has gardens. That are very much in need oh, of water, yes. yeah, because it's been so dry. So, anyway, she couldn't make it. So, oh, so she might be on. She probably the end of August. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, anybody out there that would like to be on the show, we have Gary happy Weiner. to have you. Yes, Gary, Gary Weiner could be promised on. he would come on about a year ago. Huh? Yep, and so <laughs> and John I, Otto. I think yeah. John Otto, <laughs> and I think his time is just about up. Just about up. So we'll out. have somebody, and look in the paper, and the names will be listed in there. Yeah, and Eric Bosler said something about coming and uh, on one of our shows, and let me think of who else. Uh, the lady with the sleep apnea, um, the doctor. Oh, I can't think of it. No, the I don't dentist know with the... Uh, with the mouth gear now, instead of the machine for your sleep bag. A dentist? Yeah, they make a, um, a thing that fits in your mouth now to hold your mouth. Oh, really? And yeah. you don't have to wear yeah, the... Yeah, you don't have to wear the, that other thing. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. So, so that's available at the hospital or from a I dentist? I don't know. Or I'll, you don't I'll know? have to check it out. Okay. I know that... Um, so we'll have somebody on for you. Yeah, we'll There'll be somebody. We'll here. find somebody. That if not, say what's we'll have new. to entertain you. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, we could entertain. We could dance and it's, sing. Well, and I've been like caught on dancing already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in tonight. And um, if you want to watch some of the older ones, go to StJenTV.com and click on Videos on Demand. And Sunday, and we'll go to the KC Hall for the foundation uh, dinner, and it's ten dollars. And you can look at all the old silver and listen to Bob Mueller tell uh, about the history of the silversmiths around here. And then Friday night, go on up to the pack 
and for five dollars you can watch two shows that are going to be two. hilarious That's so different. two for and the price of one yeah, and support our youth because yes. they're going to be our future citizens so and they're Any. very talented people don't realize how talented these kids are right. they really oh they're are. great and then friday night also is the art walk and it's from six to nine and of course there's an after party and you can buy a triplet and that you get six places Not stamped. A triplet, a ticket. No, it's a trip triplet. Is it? Uh -huh. A triplet? You uh, get it stamped at six places and then what you the can a win a hundred dollar uh, painting. A triplet. Triptic. It's a what that's what they call it. It's a piece of paper and you get six stamps on it and then you throw it in the thing at the end and they draw one out and they win a hundred dollar painting yep. well i'll yeah. be so that's something for five bucks you can have a very nice painting or sam offers merchandise every once in a while hundred dollars worth of merchandise I'm usually at her shop and artists donate paintings or don't donate them we yeah. get paid for them um, and they're at different places all the galleries have one that's worth $100, and you can choose which one you want. You write it on the paper. Very good. Or you can wait, and if you're drawn out, you can choose which one you want. So Very, very good. Anyway, everybody, either you can probably hit the art walk early and go to the play at 7, and then come to the after party after the play. So, and I'm not sure where that's at this uh, month, but somebody will tell you downtown. So And so don't be bored. Just find out what's new and go do them. We have lots of things going. Yeah. Okay. So, so thank you, everyone, for being thank you. with us tonight. And have a good evening and enjoy the weather. It's going to be cool. Okay, and we'll be back on the 13th of August with some guests. Thank you. Good night. Channel 7 and 98 TV and web broadcasting are made possible through contributions and donations from viewers like you. Thank you for your support.